Thanksgiving is a notoriously difficult meal to pair with. I'm Aubrey from Palette Club and today I'm going to give you some tips on pairing wine for Thanksgiving. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this very simple. Thanksgiving is pretty much impossible to pair with. There are so many different things on the table and a lot of them are not very friendly with wine. You have sweet stuff, you have salty stuff, uh, there's meat, there's cranberry sauce, and not to mention there's so many different personalities at the table. What grandma likes might not be what your cousin's girlfriend likes. So a few classics though, Beaujolais, is classic not only because it's released, Beaujolais Nouveau is released the third week of November, always right before Thanksgiving, but because it has light tannin, high acid, it's fruity, it's very approachable for many people and many types of food. This doesn't just have to be Beaujolais Nouveau, which is a very young and fruity style. You could also look for a Cru Beaujolais, so that's going to be a Beaujolais that has the name of a village on it. And that's going to be a little bit more serious, more complexity, more body, and uh, those are still really friendly with, with many different types of food. My next favorite suggestion is champagne. Why not? It's a celebration and champagne is great with most things. Most champagnes are going to be brute, so you don't need to worry too much about it being too sweet. It is usually gonna be on the drier side. I personally like to look for um, either a Blanc de Noir or just a regular champagne. So not necessarily Blanc de Blanc, which is going to be all white grapes, mostly Chardonnay, because those are very acidic and dry. Something that's maybe good for the start of the meal and aperitif, but not as food friendly. Next, I actually really like a dry Riesling. A lot of people are afraid of Rieslings, even though sommeliers love it. It is super food friendly wine. That little bit of off dryness is great with sweet, it's great with salty because it's contrasting. It's high acid, so it's gonna go with lots of different things. And I think you'll be delightfully surprised what an off dry or a dry Riesling can do for you. My final suggestion for food friendly Thanksgiving wine is just sticking with rosé. Go to a full bodied rosé. Rosé goes with everything. You don't have to think too much about it because ultimately this day is about being with your friends and family and uh, maybe later you can open up a really nice bottle of Nebbiolo or Burgundy or Bordeaux to share with your favorite family member. But otherwise, forget about the politics of, of wine, <laughs> forget about the politics of the USA or wherever you are and just enjoy the company. Cheers. <laughs>